Okay. Here's a look at your current conditions uh, at some of our area Kentucky mesonet sites. Low to mid 60s and nice sunrise all across the board. Rowan County, Knott County, Pulaski County, over towards Franklin County. All areas dealing with pleasant conditions to begin your morning. Looking at uh, most areas in terms of the temperatures, we're into the low to mid 60s. A few upper 50s showing up. At some of our area Kentucky Mesonet sites, we're at 58 there in Harrison County. Madison County has been flirting with the upper 50s so far this morning. Right now at 60, 60 in the Bath County, 57 northeast Kentucky, Lewis County. By far the coolest air there uh, to the north and east Lexington. Low to mid 60s into southern Kentucky, 60 there in the Lincoln County, 62 Jackson, 62 in Owsley County as well. Dew point still into the 50s, so it feels comfortable out there to begin the day, but we'll start to see that humidity climbing as you head into the afternoon hours. Vibradar right now is dry, expected to stay dry through most of the day, though we can't rule up a pop-up shower or storm later into your afternoon hours. We'll also see a little bit of cloud cover rolling on in, so less sunshine than yesterday, but still, regardless, we're going to be warming up back to the low 90s for most of the area. Future cast again showing uh, some of that upper level cloud cover rolling on in. Notice the wind. Yesterday we had a northeasterly breeze. Today more of a southerly wind. And with that, that's going to help bump up our temperatures. Mid 80s by lunchtime, low 90s for a lot of areas by the afternoon. There are a couple of those pop up showers and storms trying to show up. Most of that activity will be limited, uh, but you can't roll out a straight shower or storm today. So don't be caught off guard by that. Then attention turns to Saturday, and that's where we'll be tracking some storm activity into the afternoon. First, to start today, it's going to be very muggy, only falling in the mid 70s for most areas. Then as you head in the afternoon and evening, that's where we'll be tracking the development of showers and thunderstorms. Futurecast wants to keep most of that activity well to our north and our east, but notice how there'll still even be some rain heading into your overnight hours Saturday into Sunday. Some of that rain may be heavy at times. Then by Sunday afternoon, Eastern Kentucky, you have the chance of some storm activity. But the bigger headline, I think, for Sunday into Monday, the pleasant conditions on the way. We'll get that northeasterly wind kicking on in for Monday, and that'll keep temperatures into the low 80s. Beautiful day to start next week and start the month of July. But we have to get through the storms first. We do have that level one severe risk out for all of the ABC 36 viewing area for your day on Saturday into Saturday night. Higher risk as you head towards the north and the east. Our main threat here locally will be the threat of isolated damaging wind gusts possible within some of the strongest storms. But that pattern staying with us. We go from the hot and humid conditions today and tomorrow leading to the storms on the way Saturday into Sunday. The front passes and that leaves us with one of the nicest days of the entire summer on the way Monday. Low 80s, upper 70s for most areas. Then we see that heat climbing in the middle of next week and that's going to lead to more storms Wednesday into your 4th of July holiday there on Thursday. For today, though, partly cloudy and hot with a stray shower storm possible. The bigger headline, the warmer temperatures today, though. Tonight only falling into the mid-70s with one of those uh, stray showers or storms possible overnight. And looking ahead at your full seven-day forecast, shower and storm chances Saturday into Sunday. A few of those storms on Saturday could be of the stronger variety. And then Monday, that's our go day, maybe the go day of the summer. Temperatures into the low 80s before we warm right back up with more storms for the middle of next week.